Hi everybody, welcome to Rocco Baby Crochet. A huge welcome to my returning viewers and subscribers and a lovely warm welcome to anybody who's just found this channel for the first time. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Stick around, consider subscribing, which will mean you won't miss out on my next pattern or tutorial and it will also support Rocco Baby Crochet as well. If you're a member over on the Facebook group, you'll have seen that I put a post in there about my next pattern release and starting Saturday, we are gonna split up over three tutorials how I make my baby gift sets so we've got a baby bib, a pacifier clip and also a bunny ears teething ring. So you'll notice that the baby bib and the pacifier clip have this beautiful edging and this is called the Pico stitch which is a really small dainty little loop which is comprised of grouping chain stitches, slip stitches and a UK double crochet. So there is no one precise absolute or set in stone sequence of stitches that comprise the pico stitch and the definition of the pico stitch can vary from pattern to pattern designer to designer so what I wanted to do was just show you how I make my pico stitches which will give you a chance to just have a practice of it if you are new to crochet because I've aimed this set really for people who are new to crochet and it's a fun beginners project where you can work practice your double crochets remember I use UK terminology so in the US they're single crochets so grab your hooks grab be on, grab a cuppa and let's practice this stitch together. So to show you the pico stitch I've just made up a really small swatch of UK double crochets in red heart baby soft steps in blue and I'm just going to show you now how I will add my pico stitches. So when we look at the double crochet you'll see here the top, the V which makes up the top of the stitch. We have got the loop that's closest to us, the first one which is just here and this is the front loop and then we've got the one just behind it here and that is the back loop. So where we're going to be placing our hook in a little minute is underneath this front loop here from top to bottom and then we'll place it, these are our post stitches here so this is our right post stitch and this is the left bar of the post stitch we're going to be going underneath the left bar of the post stitch as well so that's where we're going to be placing our hook shortly under those two strands of yarn. So let's just pull my hook back out. So to form the pico itself, you're going to chain three. So yarn over and pull through three times. And then once you've done your three chains, you're going to be inserting your hook underneath that front loop from top to bottom and then underneath the left hand bar which makes up the post of the stitch yarn over and pull through and then we're just going to slip stitch so at this point you'll have two loops on your hook and you just want to pull through to slip stitch to finish your pico and then into the next stitch you'll place a UK double crochet and that's how we form the pico stitch so let's do that another couple of times I'm just placing double crochets just to give a little bit of space just so you can see what we're doing a little bit more clearly so to form my pico I'm going to chain three one two three and then I'm going to insert my hook from the top to the bottom underneath the front loop of the stitch and underneath the left hand vertical strand of yarn which makes up the post yarn over and pull through I've got two loops on my hook and I'm just going to pull through again to complete it and place a UK double crochet in my very next stitch. And again I'm just going to give a little bit of room to make it easy to see what we're doing. So one last time we're going to chain three, insert our hook from top to the bottom underneath the front loop and then underneath the left bar which makes up the post of the stitch yarn over and pull through and pull through again 
and that's how we create our pico edging for this project so i hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial i just wanted you to be ready and to have the technique for when we start our projects on saturday so i can't wait to see you on saturday have your hooks and your yarn ready and we'll have lots of fun take care see you soon bye <music>